5. This is on factoring the greatest common factor and then canceling. All right. Remember how um, the last lesson we did the greatest common factor of all those numbers and letters? Okay, let's review that real quick because then I'm going to teach you a new thing that you're going to do with it. Okay? 2AX plus 2AC. Okay? So again, this was, um, there's not really anything to break down. 2AX or 2AC. Okay? So, what do you see that both of them have in common? 2A. 2 and A. Now, I want you to write that down, 2A. Okay? So that's as far as we went last lessons. Okay? Now, what you're going to do is we're going to learn to do the distributive property with this. Okay? okay? So because you chose 2 and A, I want you to mark off the ones you chose in the actual problem. Okay. What do you have left? X plus C. So, in parentheses, you're going to write X plus C. Now, what that does is you've just created a distributive property. Mm -hmm. Because watch. If you add those together. That would become 2AX plus I got you. 2AC, which is what you're wanting to learn to do. So, this is actually called factoring the greatest common factor. Okay? So, it's taking it a step further than what you just did. All right, let's try a few more. For example, now this one is a little bit harder because it adds a lot of factors. X cubed, or A to the third power, X squared M squared, plus A squared X M to the third power, and you can put X1 if you want to, minus A to the fourth power, X to the third, M to the second. Okay. Now remember how we took this step by step? For, let's start with this one and write out A, 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 X, X, M, M. Then let's do the next one. A, A, X, M, M, M. And now let's do the last one. A, 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 A. We're just expanding it like we did last lessons. X, 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 M, M. Now let's circle what's common. An A, an A, and an A. It has to be common among the three. A, A, and A. And I could do that one, but this one doesn't have one, so we're done with the A's. Now let's do X's. X, X, X. We could do another X there, but not here. So we've got to move to the next one. M, M, M. And then M, M, M. All right. Now, so what we want to do is we want to cross out everything that we have. So I'm going to go on and do it from here. So I'm going to say, oh, sorry. First step we need to do is write down our commons. That's what I meant to do. Sorry. So we have A, A, 1X, and 2Ms. Right? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to go on and make what this is. A squared, x, m squared. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to go and cross out everything that we've done. Alright? Yep. Now, I'm going to take this greatest common factor that we've discovered. Mm -hmm. And I'm running out of room. Um, so I'm going to write it up here. A squared, X, M squared. And then in parentheses, what you're going to write is AX. See that? Mm -hmm. That's what's left up here. Yep. Then we've got plus yep. M. 1M. Then we've got minus X. A. Squared. And there's two of them. X squared. A squared, X squared. Very good. This is the answer. Got it? See how we did that? Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. That looks really long, doesn't it? But it actually works out. So this is what you're learning how to do is to factor that kind of problem using the greatest common factor. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's add numbers to it. Four, A, 
to the third power, b to the fourth power, and z to the third power, plus 2, a second power, b, and we'll put it to the first power, and z to the fourth power. All right, just like last time, you always want to factor out the number as well, 2 times 2. So it's going to become 2 times 2, a, 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 b, 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 z, z, z. Right? Mm -hmm. Plus, and then the 2 just factors out. It's already just 2. It's already a prime factor. So 2, a, a, b, z, 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 z. All right? Now we find what's common on the numbers. 2 and 2 is common. A, A is common. Another A is common. A B and a B is common, but we don't have any more Bs on this one. Z, 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 and then that's all we can do. So what is our greatest common factor of this? No, oh, two, just two. 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 This one has a two and this one yeah. has a two, so that's what you write down two. This one has two A, this one has two A's, so we write A squared. B and a B. Three Z's, Z's three zeros. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then you put in parentheses everything else. So I'm going to erase this and this, the two A's, the B, and the three Z's. And you write whatever you have left. 2, b to the third power, plus z. You missed an a. I did? Where yeah. at? Oh, you are so right. Good job. So it's 2a, I didn't see that one, b, to, b the to the third power, plus z. Very good. Okay? Mm -hmm. Feel like you understand it pretty good? Yep. Great. All right, let's do one more, and we'll be done with this part of the lesson. Then we're going to move to canceling. It says, find the greatest common factor of 3m cubed xy squared plus m squared y. All right? Okay. Now, let's take, and the factor for 3 is just... 3, M, 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 X, Y, Y. Now, this one does not have a number, but what does that actually mean? 1. 1. Plus 1, M, M, Y. Now, let me make sure I'm saying this right. Yes. Do, is there a number in common? No. No. So you don't do anything with yeah. the numbers. M's there are. This M and this M. This M and this M. Is there an X in common? Nope. No. Nope. M squared and There's y. a Y. Okay. So you take your commons. M. And there's two of them. M squared Y. And then let's go and mark them out. And write down what's left. 3. M. X. Y. Plus. One. Is that what you got, Isaac? It is. This is my final answer. Now, do you see how vital it was that we put a one right here? Mm -hmm. Because we had to have something plus something because if we were to do the distributive property, this times this, and then we did this times this, we need something in the second part as our answer, and so one has to go there. Yeah. Okay. You understand it completely? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's take the second part of this lesson. And it's canceling, okay? And you're going to learn how to cancel out numbers. For example, x plus 4 over x. You're going to, I'm sorry, over 4. I missed that one. Over 4, okay? You're going to learn that you can actually go 4 and 4, cross, cross out, mm -hmm. into 1, right? Okay. Just makes one whole. Because 4 goes into 4, 4 goes into 4 one time. So then the answer would just be x plus 1 over 1, or just x plus 1, because 
when we put it over 1, that is the answer. So x plus 1 is the answer. Do you see why I made sure when I crossed these out, I put a 1 in there? Mm -hmm. Because if I didn't put a 1 in there, I would have just thought the answer was x. Yeah. So it's important that when you're taking your number 4s and when you're crossing them out, you're actually dividing. What will 4 and 4 go into? 4 going to 4 one time, 4 going to 4 one time. So that's 1 each. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay. Let's do another one. Because they get a little bit harder each time. 4, A minus 3 over 4. Again. 1 and 1. 1 and 1. So that just equals A minus 3. Or 1A minus 3. Yeah. Because it would end up being over 1, which is A minus 3 is the answer. Yeah. Okay, let's try the next one. 3. X minus 2, X minus 2. That and that cancels out. One, one. 3 times 1 is 3, over 1 is 3. three. You got how we're doing it? Yep. Alright, let's do another one. Just to make sure we're not missing anything. 3, P plus 3, over 3. Now, this one might be a little confusing. Whoops. Yeah, okay. Cross out the back three. Okay, so this is That's three and three makes one and one. Mm -hmm. But this three is also divided by this. You see how this is yeah. divided by this and this is divided by this. Mm -hmm. So this one becomes three over three and this comes one over one. Yeah, so be one so three, now three, the answer one. is P plus one over one, which is just P plus one. Let me show you that right. Yes. You understand that? Yep. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Try this one on your paper. 3x minus 9x squared over 3x. Okay. So this 3x and this 3x can cross out, right? Mm hmm And become 1. Right? Yeah. But we also are minusing this one, so I'm going to go and erase this portion again. Okay, and now this 3 and this 9, 3 and 9, they can reduce or cancel out. Yeah. So this becomes 1 and 3, and this x is the same thing. This could actually be written out like this, x squared is xx. So this x and this x would mark out. So then we get answer is 1 minus 3, and I have that x still, over 1. Yep. Which equals just 1 minus 3x. Are we right? Yes, we are. You understand how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. And if it helps you, it may help you to do it like this. I'm going to do this. I'll do it like this on this next one. Uh, 5x minus 25x squared over 5xy. Now, because this whole thing is divided by this, I'm going to actually write 5x over 5xy minus 25x squared over 5xy. And you can do that because this is divided by this yeah. on both of them. So I just made it divided by that and divided by that on both of them. Mm -hmm. Okay? So and I'm going to make this one x one squared one. xx. With well, the first one be one y. Okay? So yes. So the 5 and the 5 would become 1. The x and the x would be 1. And then the y is left. So 1 is our answer. Don't pay attention to this. This is 1 as our answer. These are both crossed out over. This is crossed out. This is crossed out 1y. Minus the 25 and the 5. Mm -hmm. 5 goes into 25. 25. 5 times. 5 and 1 actually. 5 and 1. Good. X well, and X. Y or crossed okay. out, which would be 1 1. And then x over y. So it would be 5 x. times 1, which becomes 5x. And then 1 times 1 times y is just 1y. Mm -hmm. So then it would become 5x is over 1y. Now, once you get to this place and you have the same bottom, it just becomes 1y. 1 minus 5x over 1y. Would well, that be the answer? 1 minus 5x over 5y. Okay. Yep. Now, if that makes it too confusing because you end up getting two answers and you have to remember to make that back, 
then don't do it like that. Just do this one, cross those out, get a one, 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 and then get a one over the Y on the bottom of that one, and then do this one again. Okay? So however, whatever helps you, but you have to remember to do that. Okay? Okay? That's lesson 35.